If anybody including Africans are asked what the poorest continent in the world is, they are quick to say Africa, but that is just wrong. We know that has been the narrative for a long time, a continent so poor that more than half of its people cannot enjoy the basic necessities of life. Again, we say that is a wrong notion. Africa is not the poorest continent in the world because Africa is made up of 54 different countries with different economic conditions, some of which have fantastic and growing economies, including Rwanda, Egypt, and South Africa. Besides, Africa ranks fourth on the list of the combined GDP of the continent in the world. Of course, the economic conditions in most African countries are not on par with most European or Western countries. But that doesn't mean that millions of people in Africa are suffering and need help. No matter the economic conditions, Africans are survivors, creators, and millionaires in their country's currency. That being said, some countries in Africa can be considered poor based on their GDP per capita ranking, which is used to measure a country's economic progress. So, in today's video, we are going to show you the top 10 poorest countries in Africa in 2024 based on GDP per capita beginning with number 10. Number 10. Congo. $653. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the second largest country in Africa, with a huge abundance of natural resources including rare earth minerals. In fact, its untapped deposits of raw minerals are estimated to be worth in excess of 24 trillion US dollars. However, the country's GDP per capita is currently $653, which is very low compared to other African countries. The reason for this can be attributed to corruption, bad government, which is the major problem in most African countries, lack of infrastructure, and colonial exploitation. Number 9. Malawi $645. Malawi is a southeastern African country that has been grappling with severe economic challenges, which is reflected in its low GDP per capita of $645. Like all African countries, Malawi is blessed with abundant natural resources, including fertile soil and freshwater lakes. However, the country still faces persistent issues such as widespread poverty, food insecurity, and inadequate infrastructure. The country is heavily dependent on agriculture, employing over 80% of the population, yet droughts and lack of capital have stopped the country from achieving agricultural success. Number 8. Eritrea. $643. Commonly referred to as the North Korea of Africa because of its president, Eritrea is a Northeast African country that shares borders with Ethiopia, Sudan, and Djibouti. The country fought Ethiopia for independence from the 1960s until 1990, and then it was barely independent for eight years until it started a brutal conflict with Ethiopia in 1998 that didn't conclude until 2018. This war greatly affected the economy of the country as it has a GDP per capita of $643. The main economic resource in Eritrea is agricultural products, but it also has mineral resources including oil and gas, which remain untapped. Number 7. Somalia. $592. Somalia, Africa's most culturally homogeneous country, is located in the Horn of Africa, with an estimated population of around 15 million. In 1991, the Somali Democratic Republic collapsed, leading to 20 long years of civil war, which ravaged the country. This civil war led to the spread of terrorism and insurgency, by jihadist groups in the country. Altogether, the insecurity and political instability led to poor economic growth. The economy depends largely on foreign assistance. However, the conditions have stabilized sufficiently in recent years to attract international investment in the production of halal meat for export to neighboring countries, raising living standards to levels last seen in the early 1990s. Number 6. Niger. $585. Niger, a landlocked country in central Sahel, has been on the news in recent times, as a result of the coup which occurred in the country in July 2023. Although the World Bank and IMF predicted that by the end of 2024, Niger is going to be the fastest growing economy in the world, currently the country is still struggling economically, 
as reflected in its low GDP per capita of $585. Though blessed with mineral resources, including uranium, the country's economy is highly dependent on agriculture. Bad government, corruption, lack of infrastructure, and exploitation of mineral resources have contributed to the current state of Niger's economy. However, the new military government promises hope to the people of Niger, and hopefully, by the end of 2024, there will be a remarkable difference. Number 5. Mozambique, $558. Mozambique is a breathtaking country in the southeastern region of Africa. Its white sandy beaches and turquoise waters make you think you are in the Caribbean. The East African country of Mozambique is endowed with rich and extensive natural resources, and since 2001, Mozambique's annual average GDP growth has been among the world's highest. However, its low GDP per capita of $558 is a reflection that it is facing serious economic challenges. One of the major reasons for this is that Mozambique is constantly fighting Islamic insurgents, which has plagued the country for years. Another reason is the debt crisis. Like most African countries, Mozambique is battling under a heavy debt crisis. Currently, the country has requested the help of African countries in the battle against its Islamic insurgency so that it may focus on repairing its shaky economy after losing $2 billion in loan monies. Number 4. Madagascar. $516. Situated off the southeast coast of Africa, Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world. Having developed in isolation, the island nation is famed for its unique wildlife. This is why it has an active tourism industry. The country is also blessed with a wealth of natural resources. Despite this, Madagascar ranks amongst the poorest countries in Africa with its low GDP per capita of $516. One of the major reasons for this is the constant fire outbreaks, which destroy massive portions of land. And as a result, prevents residents from benefiting from fishing, farming, and nickel mining. In addition, the country sometimes suffers from severe drought. However, nickel mining, textile manufacturing, and fishing are three areas that are doing rather well for Madagascar's economy. Number 3. Sierra Leone $475 While Sierra Leone has a prosperous gross national income, thanks to the money foreign nationals send abroad, its GDP per capita of $475 is quite low. Civil wars, political unrest, and the Ebola pandemic have contributed greatly to its current economic state. Sierra Leone's economic development is also hampered by an overdependence on mineral exploitation. Successive governments and the population as a whole have always believed diamonds and gold to be sufficient generators of foreign currency earnings and lure for investment. As a result, large-scale agriculture of commodity products, industrial development, and sustainable investments have been neglected by governments. Number 2. Central African Republic $427 The Central African Republic is a landlocked country in Central Africa. Despite its significant mineral deposits and other resources, such as uranium reserves, crude oil, gold, diamonds, cobalt, lumber, and hydropower, as well as significant quantities of arable land, the Central African Republic is among the poorest countries in the Africa, with the second lowest GDP per capita in Africa. As of 2023, according to the Human Development Index, HDI, the country had the second lowest level of human development. The country's economy is as a result of a near decade-long civil war and religious unrest, which has devastated much of the country. Furthermore, rebel groups have driven residents out of their homes, who had to flee to refugee camps. Number 1. Burundi, $259 Unfortunately, Burundi, an East African country, consistently ranks as the poorest country in Africa, with its very low GDP per capita of $259. The country is struggling with a high level of food scarcity, joblessness, and food insecurity. One of the reasons for this is that Burundi is a landlocked country with poor resources. 
Additionally, corrupt leadership, poor infrastructure and security, and reliance on subsistence agriculture have contributed to the poor economic state of the country. However, according to the IMF, Burundi's economy is expected to grow by 4.3% this year from 2.7% in 2023, helped by improved performance in the agriculture sector. So, hopefully, we should expect to see some changes in the economy.